Woburn. Woburn Sands Cross Country Bike Trails and Bike Park are located at Apsley Heath, Milton Keynes. Sandy Lane Car Park is a pretty convenient place to park up. The 2XE trails start from here and the bike park, downhill trails, jump zone, area of dreams is a short pedal from here. There are no facilities on site such as a cafe or bike shop etc and a permit is required to ride which is about £10 which can be purchased online. I will leave all of that information in the description. I'm going to start by jumping into the blue XE trail, Dansborough, which has a fun downhill section called Bob's Drops. I'm going to edit out most of the climbing and stick to the sort of highlights, um, which still probably isn't going to be all that interesting to be honest, uh, to watch anyway, um, to ride, you know, it's a different experience. But yeah, anyway, that will, it will give you sort of an overview of what to expect or what you might find here. The total trail is around 4 kilometers in length and has about 70 meters of climbing. The XC trails are built and maintained by a team of passionate volunteers headed up by two guys called Mike and James. I can't find much more info on how or when these trails came into fruition. It looks like maybe around 2014 the whole thing became sort of officially sanctioned by local authorities and uh, developments have happened ever since but not entirely sure on that one. Um, comment if you know.
Next up, the red long slate trail. Again, I'm mostly going to stick to the more fun stuff to look at, uh, if you can call it that. Total trail length is around 9 to 10 kilometers, and you've got about 140 meters of climbing.
Uh, definitely plenty to keep you busy for a day here if like me you live in or near north london it's well worth a visit as it's only about an hour's drive um, and you won't really find anything better that's this close given there is not a great deal of elevation change in the area you will find the xe trails pretty peddly with uh, short-lived descents but there are also plenty of challenging features too which keeps it all interesting Looking at the Facebook page, it looks like the trail building team are often making improvements, maintaining and adding new stuff, so it'll be great to see how this place evolves over the years. Also, the trail markers are really good. It's all pretty clear where you're meant to go. Uh, if you visit at a busy time, also watch out for walkers and dogs and pedestrians and stuff like that. Now I'm going to try out the bike park. Given I'm pretty hopeless when it comes to jumps and big technical features, um, I'm not really sure how much of it I'm going to be able to ride. Uh, but hopefully I won't embarrass myself. And yeah, I'm sure there's something for everybody here anyway. So, what is the mountain biking history of this place? The bike park has been the dreams and passion of one guy, Sam Johnson, aka the King of Spades who apparently, as a teenager, began building the place single-handedly with just a spade and a wheelbarrow. Uh, and that was like some 20-odd three years ago. Much more recently, he had help from a group of volunteers and the use of a digger, but largely it's been one man's hard work with a trusty spade, which is pretty damn impressive, really. In 
in truth, I didn't really spend too much time here. I just kind of dipped my toe in after doing the XE stuff. The bike park really deserves a video in itself with somebody who's got the skills to showcase it. Um, but yeah, you don't need to look too hard on YouTube to find that already. Um, however, go and check it out. Even if you think it's not really for you, there is plenty of things to try out in session. At the very least, it's pretty cool to look at, especially given its backstory. I'll definitely be back here and hopefully with a better video on it at some point. Um, so yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching.